privileged to stand here between two sets of uh, experts. One set of experts who are really doing house warehousing day in and out and uh, directly or indirectly they are connected with warehousing business. And uh, I can start with my first impression. Believe me, warehousing is not, a, not an easy task. It's a very one of the most difficult business I've ever seen from a close proximity with some of the people I have interacted with. And on the other side, I am on the podium. A lot of, uh, I mean, a few eminent experts, research analysts who have been observing warehousing sector from a close distance. And they have shared their perspective and uh, from a theoretical point of view. And uh, what is the real businesses? What are the dynamics? What are the issues? What are the problems and difficulties that you all are very well aware of? So I don't have to spend much more time on statistics or uh, theoretical perspective of the warehousing sector as, uh, uh, as it stands today. I have been just watching this sector. It has never been a subject of mine. I have been watching this, this sector only for the last three, four years from a regulator's desk. And whatever simple impressions I have gathered in my mind about what are the ideal situations or ideal features that this warehousing sector should have, according to me, as a regulator, I am also looking forward to it. And what is it is present today? What I actually I have observed in course of my uh, regulatory stint in FMC as well and SEBI that I would like to share before you today. And uh, needless to say that in our country, basically, the farmers don't realize the full value of their commodities. I think the whatever statistics suggest, maybe 30 to 35 percent of their realizable value they are realizing compared to 65 to 70 percent in Western countries. And also, this warehousing uh, business itself, it constitutes about 15 to 35 percent of total logistics cost in the supply chain. On the other side, one side, the farmers need warehouses to carry over the stock and so that they are not engaged in distress sale. They should put the stocks for the better times. And on the other side also, they have to incur a cost. So both the cost and also the necessity for the farmers to keep the goods in the warehouses have to be balanced. This is my first observation. <clears throat> no doubt, we don't have to disagree or dispute or debate on this anymore that warehousing is sine qua non or most essential ingredient or most essential condition for today's agri sector, particularly in India, where large number of farmers, majority of them, they, are, they have to resort to uh, distress sale because either there is no MSP or MSP is a failure or there is a lot of broking, commission agency and APMC and multiplicity of uh, layering of marketing and they are trapped. So therefore, warehousing and cheap warehousing and scientific warehousing, modern warehousing with full of amenities, all these things as a package must be available to a farmer so that he comes happily and deposits his goods and wait for the right time and sales is produced. Not only that, side by side, definitely warehousing receipts should be negotiable and it should be widely popularized, widely accessible and should be made so easy for a farmer to handle, so easy to understand that banks also come forward and uh, give loan and finance so he can plan his cropping season next as well as having his goods intact and for better realization of value. Basically, these are the things that all that we have been discussing here, we want that. Even as a regulator, we want that. And everybody is talking about multiplicity of regulator. And there is a need for convergence of regulator and convergence of regulations. No doubt, there is also no dispute about it. But let me start with a disclaimer as may be perceived in some quarters by some speakers or uh, from the warehouse uh, segment which is present before, that SEBI is also regulating warehousing. It's not so. SEBI is not a regulator of warehouse sector till now. All that SEBI is trying to do, SEBI is trying to do is uh, issue a set of guidelines for observance by the warehouse service providers so that in the interest of trade and public interest and for the interest of derivative market, the credibility and integrity of this warehousing business is enhanced so much so that people come to this market to uh, uh, risk, uh, manage their price risks in a great and bigger way. And we also want retail participants, farmers, 
farmer producers organizations and not only corporates and all it should be massive uh, uh, there should be participation on a mass scale from all sectors of the economy so that uh, this uh, 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 this commodity derivative market plays an important role as important as a cash market plays in this agricultural sector friends definitely the emergence of wdra act and wdra has become a one, uh, has been one of the most significant step in indian history of warehousing and what should the wdra play its role and the role is not should be restricted only to merely issuing negotiable warehouse receipts i can summarize what is the role that is expected from wdra this this is a quotation from a report of the working group on warehousing development and regulation for the 12th uh, plan period 2012-17 what 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 this working group says it says the warehousing development and regulatory authority should not play the role of a regulatory body only by registering warehouses interested to issue negotiable warehouse receipt it should play a vital role in developing an orderly robust and reliable warehousing system in the country the authority should encourage testing and upgrading the perishable agricultural commodities so that consumers may get good quality of fruits and vegetables to develop efficiency and expertise among the warehousemen intensive training programs for the officials of the warehouses both public and private should be initiated by the authority in collaboration of some expert institutions it is desirable that wdra proactively encourages registration of all warehouses receiving deposits of goods of others so i think everything under the sun is covered here so wdra is expected to play a bigger broader and more efficient role and it should not only cover only the negotiable where uh, warehouse receipt part it can it should also cover those goods on which also negotiable warehouse are not presently issued so meaning thereby wdra should aspire for registering all the warehouses in the country control them regulate them effectively then also impart training and create an ecosystem of warehousing in the country whereby all the warehousing regulations merge in one place and there is no need for duplicity or multiple set of regulations to operate so what are the basic features that i am looking forward to as a regulator in a warehouse the basic necessity i believe in first thing is need for effective regulation warehousing because of this point i mentioned farmers are losing money on their realizable value of their product and so it should be easily accessible and it should be made available to in each nook and corner of the country there should be a credible warehouse receipt mechanism i'm just giving the pointers we can discuss during a deliberation there should be a robust mechanism of audit and inspection and i believe from regulator i have faced hardships when it comes to essential commodities and a lot of my derivatives are suffering because of the application of stock limits etc from time to time by the government so i also want a situation where the warehouses in the country particularly the wdr registered warehouses and which are again accredited by me through our exchanges they are exempted from the stock limits so that the price discovery and price risk management through the trading of commodity derivatives happen freely smoothly without any problem there should be electronic accounting of commodities and electronic accounting of uh, negotiable warehouse receipts and uh, incentivizing warehousing center is also necessary as i understand they used to get some uh, uh, depreciation benefits and taxation benefits some subsidy that let the think tank be uh, decide about it and uh, can propose to the government of india insurance of course at the last session we heard how important it is and don't do insurance just because the regulator talks about it you should do get into insurance business because you are the keeper in good faith of the valuable stock of the poor farmers if not today when the time will come small small farmer will come and deposit the goods your insurance is going to cover his all the risks and impeccable governance that is one of the most important thing i would like to highlight of course financial capability well capitalized and good asset net worth these are definitely necessary because warehousing is a very difficult sector where small players will find very very tough to operate <coughs> and if the kind of regulator 
you think WDRA or any for that matter, any other regulator who is going to be the regulator of warehouses in the country tomorrow should be, I think it should be, we can think of some best global practices. I believe in USA they have very strong uh, regulated practice and where the regulators, uh, regulator is very strong and take very, very strong action against the errant warehouse service providers as well as the kind of licensing they give that is that puts some sort of stamp of sacrosanity on the goods that is put there and nobody ever doubts about the integrity of the quality of the goods. So, can, uh, Mr. so we have uh, as far as uh, commodity derivative market is concerned I think uh, the storage capacity put together by all the exchanges they are uh, they have hired about uh, 16 to 17 lakh uh, tons storage capacity of which about 11 to 12 lakh tons capacity is being utilized. There is still a gap. So, warehousing service provider, WSPs and warehouses, they should aspire for getting more and that will be also done through in collaboration with the commodity exchanges. And uh, although it is a derivative market and uh, delivery should happen incidentally, still deliveries happen in agri market quite substantially. And most of our uh, warehouses now, they stand registered by WDRA. And why I stand for, a w, uh, stand for WDRA as a very good regulator, I, 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 I visualize WDRA to be a very ideal regulator because I have taken WDRA registration as a benchmark for the commodity delivery uh, uh, derivative market. Because once it is WDRA registered, I am 60-70% assured that lot of quality, quantity, uh, the financial part, the inspection part, the operating procedure part is taken care of. What I am doing as a regulator, I am prescribing certain more norms over and above the WDR norms so that the credibility and integrity of my derivative market improves. Thanks. Uh... My fi final impression on this issue is, uh, we, had, we did some, uh, on the one side, uh, by sitting in the policy desk, we can think about a lot of things about that, this warehouse service provider should do this, do that, warehouses should have, do this, do that. Ideally, they also claim that we have a lot of amenities, this and that. But some of my inspections suggest that a lot of things is still desired to be done. Basically, it is an image building. The, w, the warehouse man that you have posted, he is either going to make or mar your image as a service provider. Just like I, I am from income tax department, I can tell you, I don't bother from income tax department whether Vodafone, what Vodafone thinks and talks about me. I am bothered if the last person, the salaried person is getting his refund or not. How much harassed he is, he is the image maker of my department. Similarly, for, w, as for WSPs, it is the last warehouse man and the assayer and the, and the, and the people, five, six or ten, one dozen of people who are manning that warehouse, their credibility, their professionalism, their conduct, their, their ethical, their moral character is going to matter a lot in the long run if they want to build a very good image for yourself in this market. Because if they are rejecting somebody's goods, there should be bona fide reasons. If they are accepting also bona fide reasons, the assaying should be completely proof of every doubt and their conduct should be such that the, your WSPs can hold their head high and the market's credibility will increase. The moment the integrity and credibility increase, you can find people are coming simply uh, in large numbers for depositing their goods. And uh, both cash market and my market, derivative market, both, they will prosper together. Thank you.